is our first look at the former president since he was actually shot two days ago in Pennsylvania during that rally. And of course, the theme tonight was to make America wealthy again. But aside from the expected Republican platform speeches on the minds of many delegates and the speakers, of course, the horrific events of Saturday's rally shooting in Butler, Pennsylvania. And for the first time now, the man who survived that assassination attempt is before the delegates with his new running mate. We hereby nominate every single one of them for the greatest president that's ever lived. The Trump children formally nominating their father at the Republican National Convention. An emotional moment 48 hours after Donald Trump's brush with death at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. He's not deterred. I remember the first thing he said when I, you know, I spoke to him in the hospital is nothing changes with the RNC. Mr. Trump ever defiant in Milwaukee and announcing his 2024 running mate. Senator J.D. Vance. The freshman senator from Ohio appearing on the convention floor Monday afternoon, a Marine Corps veteran and Yale Law School graduate, J.D. Vance, cheered on by the dutiful delegates as a winning ticket. J.D. is somebody who is he's young, he's dynamic, he is smart, he is a veteran. I think that he has an amazing family story. The 39-year-old father of three once was a never-Trumper, calling the former president reprehensible and cultural heroine. But in recent years, falling in line with the Trump doctrine. He's a clone of Trump on the issues. President Joe Biden back on offense after spreading a message of unity over the weekend. The GOP convention working to strike a similar tone. As former President Trump said in an interview with the Washington Examiner, he ripped up his old speech, saying had the attempted assassination not happened, we had a speech that was extremely tough. Now we have a speech that is more unifying. Donald J. Trump will be the first Republican in a generation who will win New York State. Delegates from the tri-state looking forward to the future. I believe gas prices will go down. We'll start drilling for our fossil fuels to be energy independent. And I believe inflation will come down. And we're taking you back out live to Milwaukee, Wisconsin right now as the speeches continue. And you can see a former President Trump there sitting alongside his running mate now, J.D. Vance. Also, he's in the box with family members. And we're going to hear directly from the Veep pick on Wednesday night. And then once uh, Donald Trump accepts the nomination formally, we expect to hear his speech on Thursday night. Of course, as you just heard, with a, with a much more softer tone than initially planned, of course, because of the shooting that happened, guys, on Sunday. They've sort of retooled that speech and the tone that they're trying to set for well, Americans. It will